Independence National Historical Park contains several landmarks that tell the story of the establishment of the United States of America and American democracy. Inside the Liberty Bell Center are exhibits about the Liberty Bell, focusing on its origins and modern day role as an icon of freedom. The Liberty Bell itself is displayed in a glass chamber with Independence Hall as the backdrop. Independence Hall is one of the United States' most historic buildings. It was the place where the nation was founded and the American system of government established. Delegates of the 13 British colonies met in the assembly room of the then Pennsylvania State House and debated and approved the Declaration of Independence. Each one of these tables would represent one of the original 13 colonies and the representative seated at each one of these tables. These men have any questions for Mr. Jefferson. They began going over that document word by word, sentence by sentence, paragraph by paragraph, under the other. Formerly a county courthouse, the building served as the first home to the Congress of the New United States, with the House of Representatives meeting on the first floor and the United States Senate on the second. It was within these chambers that the Bill of Rights was ratified by Congress in 1789 and where John Adams was inaugurated as the nation's second president in 1793. Adams assumed power from George Washington in history's first peaceful, democratic transition without bloodshed, war or death. In Independence Square, now a World Heritage Site, the Declaration of Independence was read publicly for the first time on July 8, 1776. Built between 1785 and 1789, the hall is the headquarters of the American Philosophical Society, founded by Benjamin Franklin in 1743. Washington Square was one of Philadelphia's five original squares as laid out in 1682 by William Penn. Within 25 years of Penn's arrival, however, the square was being used as a potter's field and a barrel yard for strangers in the city. Beginning in 1776, fallen troops from Washington's army were buried in the square and later memorialized with the tomb of the unknown soldier of the American Revolution. 